Hey, what is up heroes, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Go. In today's episode, we'll be walking around a lake. This area I haven't been to before, hopefully get some pretty decent water Pokemon. Uh, this area is pretty big, so we should find quite a few Pokestops and hatch a few eggs. This is what the area looks like in real life. Yeah, so all those Pokemon you just saw there, keep watching this video because uh, they might try and attack me a little bit later on. But as always, going around a big area, we are going to pop a double XP and pop an incense so we can find more Pokemon and get that double XP. Also, in this episode, I'll show you guys a little cool tip to get some uh, pretty easy XP really fast. And here is a Goldeen, our first uh, Goldeen I've seen, which is pretty awesome. Got to try and capture this. It's just chilling on land, you know, how it's, uh, how it's doing there. But I always find every single time... I throw the Pokeball, it's just when the Pokemon wants to try and attack me, and this thing was kind of hard to uh, capture, skip from the ball over it, and then I miss, I, I really sucked trying to get the Scaldine, and then it jumped, and luckily it jumped, because I think if it didn't jump, I would have missed this thing, uh, at least it was uh, pretty easy to capture, which was great, but the sound's kind of going to glitch out here for some reason, so um, yeah, there's the Goldeen. Sand will come back in a second. It glitched out with the Venonat as well. Like, my game audio just stopped working. I was like, okay, so just restarted the game. And, uh, yeah, this is my first Venonat as well. I just want to show the uh, new Pokemon I get because we get quite a lot of XP with double XP. You get, like, 1,220, I think it is, if you capture a brand new Pokemon. Which, if you're just starting out the game, I, hi I highly recommend just spending a bit of money just to, uh, let me, like, I think it's 79p to get 100 Poker Coins just to uh, get a double XP egg because it's 100% worth, it, worth it starting off because you just get so much XP. And, oh, our first egg hatch. I always find, like, when I'm walking, I don't look at the screen and my egg starts to uh, hatch. It doesn't vibrate or anything, so I'm just, like, kind of chilling and walking, like, oh, God, the egg, and I didn't realize until I tap it. Well, we're going to get a tentacool, which is uh, pretty awesome. Makes sense, because we're by a lake, and, you know, we should really get a water Pokemon. It should be, like, a water episode, I guess. But, first egg, we get a tentacool, which I hadn't had before, so that's a lot of XP, and, oh, Another egg is going to hatch straight after this, and we are going to get a female Nidoran, which is, again, really awesome because I haven't had a female Nidoran yet, or a male Nidoran, so that is even more XP. Like today's episode, I was just trying to get as much XP as possible, trying to get to level 15. Right here, we've reached level 14, which is great, and still got a long way to go to 15, to be honest, but in a little bit, I'm going to show you a nice little trick to... Uh, Get as much XP as possible. Usually I wait till I have about five minutes left on my incense or uh, double XP to do this, but uh, you'll see near the end of the episode. I'm just going to capture this Pidgey because it was there, why not? Hatch two eggs. Might as well quickly capture this Pidgey. It'll uh, help out, get 200 XP, get a bit of candy. And uh, right around here is Redemption. So if you remember a couple episodes back, I found that Poliwag and it ran away from me. I could not capture that Poliwag. Well, I found another one and this time I was like, I am getting this 100%, and then I, uh, I missed the first Pokeball, which is kind of embarrassing, but the second one, hitting it with a small little uh, ring, and we're going to try and capture this bad boy. Hey, we get a Poliwag, which is great because I didn't have one before, and two, it was Redemption because the last time I saw a Poliwag, it ran away from me, and I could not get it for the life of me. Basically, this episode was just water Pokemon and Redemption, and leveling up. There was uh, quite a lot of stuff, and then we're going to go to this... Uh, Pokestop, which is a pretty decent Pokestop. Got Egg, Super Potion, Berry, and two Pokeballs. Like, I'm getting some really decent uh, Pokestops lately, which is really, really great. And around here, I'm pretty sure the Egg is going to hatch. And we're going to get a Staryu. Not that great, because I already uh, had a Staryu, but got another Egg to hatch as well, so that's pretty good. And we get a Slowpoke, which I hadn't had before, so that is a lot more XP. Today we're just getting so much XP, so if you've got some eggs to hatch, you need to capture a lot of Pokemon. 100% recommend using a double XP, and we're going to get a medal for hatching 10 eggs. Could have sworn I hatched more than that, but uh, they take a lot longer than you uh, realize. I need to put these new eggs in the incubators, though. Now I've got a bit more uh, space. Things are trying to kill me. Oh my god. Dude, dude, back off, man, back off. That's right, that's right. Yeah, you... Oh, God, okay, nope, nope, nope. Those guys were having none of it. They they were out for blood. 
just walking along, come towards me, like, oh, let's, let's record this, and then bam. Okay, here, so this is how I'm gonna get a lot of XP. I'm gonna evolve this Pidgey, because I have so many, like, Pidgey candy, Rattata candy, all that good stuff, and with double XP, obviously, you get quite a lot of XP for a evolving one Pokemon. So you'll see right here, I get a thousand XP for just evolving a Pidgey to a Pidgeotto. Just gonna back out in a second. There you go, 1000 XP. So, gonna speed up right here. I evolve so many Pokemon like Rattatas, Pidgeys, anything that takes uh, a really low amount of candy. And I obviously have a lot of them because I've caught so many Rattatas and Pidgeys. Just gonna do all this uh, evolving, and you'll see I get so much XP. It's gonna catch a Rattata right there, but super speed for all of this. So much evolving. I, I do this when I have five minutes left because it takes a bit of time to evolve and the counter still goes down. And you will see here, I am now level 15. Super fast XP, super easy, and you'll see all the stuff we get for being level 15 in a second. It just takes a while to actually uh, pop up. You see right there as well, I can actually find a Geodude around here. Can't find one for life me though. Get a super potion and a revive and two Pokeballs here. And then I'll probably stop. This one's pretty good. Yeah, look at all the balls we get. Two great balls, three Pokeballs, and they uh, revive. There we go, level 15. Look at all the stuff we get. 15 great balls, 20 hypers, 10 revives. Just you get everything, you can now get Hyper Potions at level 15, which is super good. Really good, and on the way back, we're just going to uh, end off the episode getting a few poker stops. Trying to find that Geodude, I could not find it for the life of me. Didn't know where, which way to go. I got down to like two uh, footsteps at one point, and then it just went back up to three. Like, I could not find it. I suck at tracking. Like, I, I get the idea of how to do it, but I, I just suck at tracking. I need get, like Daryl from The Walking Dead to help me out or something, you know, because it's just not my forte. But hopefully you guys are enjoying this episode. Next episode, I think, I just want to try and grind a little bit more. Because the episode after that, I want to try and take on the biggest gym in my town. Like, I would say the most populated area would be the city centre. And there's a gym by the escape where, like, there's a snow zone, cinema, restaurants. It's, like, the biggest area there. And I want to try and take that gym. Because I think it's the biggest gym in Milton Keynes. And obviously, me and Team Instinct have got to uh, represent, got to try and take that. Go take that gym because uh, Team Mystic and that level 20 guy who's probably a really high level right now has got it and I can't can't let that happen, you know? Can't let that happen. But I actually found a, a few players I, I talked to like when I was walking around. Found a um, few players with Team Instinct. I was like, hey, let's go, man. Nice little uh, fist bump. It's pretty awesome. Gotta love uh, Team Instinct players. The rest of you? Nah. Nah, I'm joking. I'll still...